Hello everyone, welcome back to the Selenium 2018 tutorial using C Sharp and Visual Studio 2017. In the last video, we saw how do we set up a unit framework, how do we define a test class using this text fixture annotation, how do we set up our test, our driver in, a set, in setup annotations, how do we tear down our driver using tear down annotation and now and also we saw how do we set up our test methods using test attributes but if you remember in the last video we saw uh, I talked about how do we run parallel tests like two or three tests run simultaneously at the same time so for that uh, there is a feature in an unit framework that you can use so in today we're going to see that um, before going that if you are able, if you're familiar with the concept of hooks and base that is uh, very good if you are not familiar with the these methodologies similarly uh, for general purpose understand that we create base class and we initiate some uh, like methods drivers something so that we can utilize that each and every time instead of creating that so for now let us first create the base class you can add new class or you can add unit test method whatever you want to click on so let us create and let us rename it to base class so this is a CS file with base so let us make it public usually we create base and hooks and we define and we go through these threads but the purpose here is different so we're going to use use an unit dot framework and using open dot selenium so we'll change this in different in a moment before that uh, let us so our method what uh, we're going to do in base class is we're going to create our driver here so we have named it this this we are going to use this web driver in the later way we're going to initialize it and use it uh, multiple time but for now you can understand it it is in the base class we have a web driver and to use that let us name this as test fixture so the compiler knows that this is a test class so we are writing here test fixture because we are going to use it later we will see that now we are going to create our test methods so again you can add a unit test method or class whatever you want to prefer both will create CS file so we are going to name here so let us rename it as n unit parallel test let us add this so again we are going to create it public and we are going to use openqa.selenium as well as openqa.selenium sorry dot chrome as well as using openqa.selenium because we are going to use the by class so now for that we need support and all so now this class so we are going to write our test methods in this test class so to know that compiler we are going to we have to in name as test fixture ok so we have not imported n unit so now it, will, now it should come so this is text fixture we going to write test methods here and we have defined our driver here so we need to have this so we need to inherit this so that we don't have to define driver here now we need a test method 
so let us create the action method like public void let us name it as such google and we are going to if, as in the previous video we are going to annotate using attribute using test attribute so that compiler knows that this is a test method now we can use driver you can see it comes from paste class paste dot driver so driver dot navigate go to url so we can use we can do the basic of operations like you need to write on this text box and click on google search so if i remember correctly this has a name property of q yep it is q and as well as this is btnk btnk so everybody uses google and mostly tests on google so it is very common to know these names so okay so we have to give url so let us give us a url now we are going to do our usual test methods which we do so we are going to use driver dot find element by name and we know the name is q sorry dot send keys and let us search for this payment with or without space let us give without space for now and driver dot find element by name and we are going to provide the name of the button that is btn capital k dot not send please here we click here as it is a button so it will show the search results so it is going to sh show the results in a very quick time so we will be putting some thread dot sleep here so we are going to do that uh, let us do that one now. 5 8 4 next system dot threading dot thread dot sleep and let us put 10 seconds this is one second okay 10 seconds so it is it is going to open the url in the chrome uh, okay open chrome okay so we have not initialized the driver so it is going to give error so let us driver equal to new chrome driver now it will open new instance of chrome and open this url type this pmn click on the search button and then uh, wait for 10 seconds so this is our first method so now but we need to have another method as well which we can run parallelly so this is first uh, uh, this is the class which we have written test method let us create another class within this namespace public class let us copy this name and differentiate using two this also imports base this is also a test picture so let us put test picture over here so now let us copy this entire thing so it also has a test method so as we will let us differentiate is using two because this is the second test method so now we can see we have two test methods search google and search google 2 let us change this thing let us search for hashtag this payment so now we have two test methods that can be run parallel but how to run these tests in parallel we need to define we need to tell them so there is a new attribute new sorry old attribute but given known attribute 
that is parallelizable yeah here it is so you using this attribute you can define it says this attribute is used to mark tests that may be run in parallel so we know we know so let us put the same thing over here now these two test methods can run in parallel I think we are ready to run it let us clean the solution for, for all the messages that I have created earlier now build solution let us hope it builds correctly as soon as it builds you now the, these two test methods search google and search google 2 should reflect in our test explorer so that we can run these tests so these are there are two methods search google and search google 2 so let us select these two test methods search google and search google 2 right click and say run selected tests ideally it should open two instances of chrome and do all these steps side by side so we can see that we have two instances of chrome opened here it is once it has written this payment and hashtag this payment for some reason the btnk the search button could not be found on this one but here is an issue we forgot to write driver dot quit so these two instances are here if i open the task bar task manager you need to see there are two chrome drivers here so you have to end that manually So how to do that as we have as we saw in the first unit test framework uh, class like in, this, in the setup how to do the setup uh, and tear down so similarly we're going to tweak a little in our base class so in our base class we have this we can have our test method here public void in it for initialization and public void tear down for driver dot quit thing so we're going to use here one time setup and for the tear down we're going to use one time tear down see you can hover over them and read what these things done so we can write here driver equal to new chrome driver is not coming because we are not using the proper reference let us use dot chrome now we'll see equal to new chrome driver and here we'll be going to write driver dot quit so now this line is of no use we, you can remove there you can you have don't have to initialize here that will be taken care of by the base class similarly if this test method if this class has more than two methods you can play with that so this is search google so I can write search Google 1A. Sorry, 1A. And let us close this wait for 5 seconds and 5 seconds. So you need to see this thing will run twice. And this browser instance will remain as it is on the screen. So let us differentiate it today is i believe france versus belgium let us see if we can get this thing or not 
so this thing will do France versus Belgium in this payment and this will search for hashtag this payment I hope it works let us save that clean the solution build this solution now we're going to see three test methods in our test explorer it is search Google search Google 1a and 2 so this search Google and search Google 1a will uh, run on one side and this on the other instance of the browser so let us see let us select and select and click on run selected tests so now two instances of Chrome should pop up anytime soon yep here it is let us so one should search for hashtag the spearman spearman and France versus Belgium they have completed the setup however this is remaining and waiting for 10 seconds did we put on wait for yeah we have put on the wait but for some reason wait was not working let us click on task manager if we see the previous version of the Chrome dot Chrome driver is running, so we cannot see that. So our test method is too quick. I want to run it one more time, so I, so that I can see why it didn't wait for five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Ideally, you should wait. Let us do this run one more time. So you can run more than two, three, four tests depends on your priority or requirement. What are you looking for? How many tests you are looking for? For some reason, none of them waited for 10 seconds. So there is some weird issue. Let us we'll see that in the upcoming videos. So if you're liking this content, please like this video. If you want to ask something, please write down in comments. Uh, share this video, subscribe this channel, I really appreciate that. And see you guys in the next one. Thank you.